Welcome to We Drum Tips. This video is about two drum tech beaters, especially made for e drums. The first one is Drum Tech's Ball Beater. It is basically a small tennis ball mounted to a rod. The second one is called Sound Absorbing Beater, a two sided plastic beater with a soft foam surface on one side and the usual plastic surface on the other side. First, we compare the rebound on the hard surface. The second beater seems to cause less noise and dampens the impact, although it is bouncing up and down more often. We use a seismometer app to display the impact level. The ball beater causes slightly more impact noise. The sound absorbing beater has a rounded surface, which is responsible for an additional cushioning effect to slow down the impact. It can simply be rotated and used as normal beater, and it is also clearly visible that you can use two of them for almost every double pedal. That might not be the case for the ball beater. Its diameter could be too big for some double pedals, like the DW9000. In this case the beaters would touch each other. Make sure the beater rod distance of your pedal is bigger than 58mm if you want to use two of them. We compared the impact noise with the Roland plastic beater. As you can see the impact noise of the ball beater is slightly less intensive on the kick pad. This effect relates to an undamped mesh head construction. If you would use a rubber pad or a small mesh pad, you would see a bigger improvement. You can almost see the same result with the sound absorbing beater. It is less noisy than both ball and plastic beater. The trigger result is not really affected by the ball beater. It might be a good solution to increase the sensitivity for the soft beater. The ball beater is great for rubber pads like the KD8 and for mesh kick pads in combination with the kick drum patch. The soft beater is the right choice if you search for a quieter solution. Find the links for both beaters in the description below. Click the left box to watch the A2E conversion series. Click the box in the middle to hear the noise difference between a KD120 and a 20 inch DIY bass drum. Or click the right box to see a video about different types of mesh heads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.